Well, good afternoon. This is Hemlock Steve wishing you a very pleasant afternoon. And uh, just a quick video, but I've been working on the driveway and uh, we have an extremely long driveway that is on the side of a hill and it is prone to washing out. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, well, what I've done, and I'm going to show you what I've done, is I put some berms in and uh, this is a very effective way of controlling water damage. Okay, so um, let's just walk down the driveway and uh, I will talk as we go along and uh, show you some of the things to be looking out for. Okie dokie, here we go. So there's the top of the driveway and uh, here is the first drainage ditch right here. And that water just naturally flows off this one side, gets caught up in this ditch and is moved along down the side of the hill and away from the property. But not so easy to do as we go further down the driveway. So what you do is you look for the way the water naturally wants to travel. And uh, I don't know if you can see just down here but there is a channel that the water has started to cut. Okay right there and you can see how it goes along, pulls out a little bit and then what I've done is I have put some gravel in here and raised that edge so hopefully that water now will come down that channel Go down here, get caught up in this, and then just get caught in the natural drainage away from the side of the driveway. And uh, the same thing here. You can see this is where the water starts to dig into the driveway. So I've just dug away a little bit and build a berm there, put some rocks in and uh, some gravel and then just pull the soil over the top. I'll be sodding that in uh, or uh, seeding that in with grass. And also uh, down here. So you can see the water comes down the driveway, goes over towards the trees there, down, pulls in there, carries on down and again hopefully I'm going to catch all of this in this berm and it will just wash over the edge of that uh, embankment there and down and away into the swampy area of the property. But uh, I've just about finished this side. I have put uh, a lot of gravel in here because you'll see a little further down the drive uh, what it looks like. I haven't finished the other side yet. We've got about an inch of rain coming tonight. And there you go. I should just channel the water away down the side of the property. And here is just to catch any leftovers that we've missed and channel it down into there. Uh, now I put these rocks in this washout here, uh, which you can see uh, how much gets washed out with uh, just rain coming down the driveway. And because it is, it's pretty steep. And it's pretty long. So I'm going to put the larger stone gravel. I'm going to level this all up. I'm going to pull that gravel in that's been washed up on the side of the road. It'll probably take me another day to finish off that. And then I am going to get five yards of what they call limestone screenings. This is very fine limestone and uh, it's covered in powder, uh, uh, limestone powder, lime dust, and uh, that will pack down and that will form almost like a concrete surface on the driveway. Now, I think maybe you get an idea as we look back up the driveway, what's happened over the years is um, the water has started to run down the center of the road and it's digging its own channel and so with that um, limestone screenings that I'm going to bring in I'm going to build a, uh, a camber from the middle of the laneway out to the edges so it tends to push the water off the edge and 
away down where it isn't going to be a problem at all. It'll just run off naturally. But you really can uh, do an awful lot with berms. Now we don't seem to have the same issue here. You can see, uh, I'm hoping this water is going to come right down the edge of the bank instead of down this path here. But it comes down and then it cuts across the driveway and for some reason I'm not quite sure why, but for some reason it doesn't really seem to wash away so bad down here. Um, so this end of the driveway is okay. No problems here. It's just when we turn around and we look up. And uh, that is a good long drive. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful and um, yeah, try doing some berms if you've got washouts like this on your driveway and uh, it'll just keep on happening until you put a proper camber and direct that water away from the centre of the road or driveway or land or whatever it is that you're trying to, uh, trying to dry up. Uh, just redirect that water and like I say, it will find its own path. Look at that, she's always testing. Uh, uh Good girl. Yeah, she's always testing. Get a little concerned because uh, although it is quiet here that um, there are traffic and some trucks going down that highway. Anyway, in the meantime, this is Hanok Steve signing off, wishing you a very pleasant afternoon and we'll talk very, very shortly. See you now. Bye.